ultra-rich, moist, fudgy, super easy chocolate zucchini cake. It is the perfect summer treat for any chocoholic and it can be made in under one hour, no mixer required, with tons of chocolate flavor. If you're new to my channel, my name is Carrie. Welcome to my kitchen. This week we're going to be making a super easy chocolate zucchini cake. Now this is the hardest part of the recipe and that is waiting for this to cool before you can eat and enjoy it. I love growing fresh zucchini and there's so many different things that you can do with it. It's one of those veggies that are easy to cook with and to bake with. You can find a million ways to get creative with it, whether you're going savory or sweet. With this cake, there's no assembly or decorating required. And it's super easy to transport, so it's perfect for those summer potlucks. You don't even need an electric mixer to mix the batter. So it's the perfect recipe to use if you've got an abundance of zucchini in your garden. I find some chocolate zucchini cakes can be bland and dry. This one is not the case. One of my first tips is cocoa powder has way more flavor than melted chocolate. So the first step in this recipe is to turn on your oven. What we're gonna do is lightly grease a bundt pan. Now you can use any type of pan, but a bundt pan makes a cake look super duper special and it just adds a little extra flair to a recipe that's a chocolate cake. So why not put it in a bundt pan and make it look pretty? First step is to lightly grease your bundt pan with cooking spray. Like so. The next step is to get two cups of shredded zucchini. So I'm going to use my large grater and grate some out. The next thing this recipe needs is buttermilk. I don't know about you, but I rarely have that in my kitchen and I usually forget to buy it at the grocery store. But did you know that you can make buttermilk at home using a few different ingredients? One of them is milk and vinegar. Another one is milk and lemon juice. Another variety is using plain yogurt. And the last is using crema tartar with some milk as well. Today I'm gonna to be making buttermilk using the lemon juice and milk. I need to get 3 4th cups of buttermilk. This recipe that I use is equals 1 cup, so I am going to make 1 cup and then just not use the last quarter. So you put 1 tablespoon of lemon juice into your container and then fill it up the rest of the way with milk up to the 1 cup line. So now what I'm going to do is stir that together and let it sit for about five minutes before I add it to my rest of my ingredients for this cake. So in a large bowl, what you're going to do is whisk together three eggs with one and a half cups of sugar. Don't forget to crack those eggs outside of your bowl. You don't want any eggshells ending up inside of your batter. And here's my one and a half cups of sugar. That in together, and I'm going to whisk those up together. Next, I'm going to add one tablespoon of vanilla extract. and three quarters cup of my buttermilk. To make sure I don't put too much in, I'm going to actually measure it into my quarter cup measurement here. 
three times. Next, add half a cup of oil and mix that all together. Now we've whisked that together, I'm going to add my two cups of zucchini. I bought this really cool whisk that I'm excited to use as I mix those all in together. All right. So now we add the dry ingredients. What we're going to do first is add one and a half cups of flour, which I've already pre-measured. half a cup of cocoa powder, three-fourths teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking soda, a quarter teaspoon of baking powder. All the dry greens are in there. I'm going to stir until they're just combined and there are no dry streaks. Now I've used a clear bowl so you can see how that looks. usually stir it way faster. Okay, that's mixed together now. Next I'm going to spread the batter evenly into the bowl. And scrape those sides. Now the nice thing about a bunt pan is that it spreads itself out nice and evenly in there. Now we're going to take this and bake in the oven for 25 to 35 minutes until this top springs back lightly to the touch and also a toothpick comes out clean. We've been in the oven for 35 minutes. We're gonna pull it out, give it a toothpick test, and we are clean. That beautiful chocolate zucchini cake. Now this is the hardest part of the recipe, and that is waiting for this to cool before you can eat and enjoy it. This is the fun part. We've now cooled in the bunt pan, so I'm going to take this pan, or this plate, put it upside down, and carefully turn it upside down. And hopefully it's cool enough that it comes out. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Beautiful chocolate zucchini cake. I'm going to cut a slice here for you to see just how nice this looks when it's done. Beautiful. This chocolate zucchini cake recipe is one of my favorites and I love making in the summertime, especially when I have an abundance of zucchini. Let me just let you take a close up of what this looks like. So it is moist. It has a little bit of zucchini in there, but you can't see it. I know moist isn't a great word, but I still love it and it is dense as well. The best part about it is that it doesn't need any icing. It's great just the way it is. Plain, simple, easy to make. This is great to take to a potluck. 
My teenage son asked me to make this all the time. Sorry, can't stop eating it. If you've liked what you've seen and heard, click like and subscribe. I promise you it will make a difference. Thanks for joining me today on Cooking with Carrie. Have a great day and hopefully your family enjoys this recipe just as much as ours does. It's so good. Yep, that piece is gone.